हेलो एंड वेलकम टू फायर एंड कॉन्सिक्वेंशियल लॉसेस इंश्योरेंस आई सी फिफ्टी सेवन दिस सीरीज ऑफ वीडियोज इज अबाउट द लेक्चर्स ऑन द सब्जेक्ट ऑफ फायर एंड कॉन्सिक्वेंशियल लॉसेस इंश्योरेंस एज पर द सिलेबस ऑफ द इंश्योरेंस इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ इंडिया आई एम बद्रीनाथ श्रीनिवासन एंड हैव कंप्लीटेड माई मास्टर्स इन लॉ I am also an associate of the Insurance Institute of India, and I am a member of the Chartered Institute of Arbitrators, United Kingdom. <coughs> Now, in this lecture series, what we will do is we will take each chapter subdivided into several lectures, and have videos running up to maybe ten minutes or twelve minutes. in this video what we will be doing is we'll be dealing with the chapter the first chapter that is basic principles and the fire policy this chapter will be divided into first lecture will deal with basic principles of of fire insurance and the second lecture will deal with the fire policy and this lecture is for into two parts the first part will deal with basic principles of that is basics of fire insurance and second part will deal with several other aspects of the basics of fire insurance what is fire insurance that expression fire insurance is not defined clearly in any of the statutory instruments however section 2 Subsection 6A of the Insurance Act 1938 defines fire insurance business. Fire insurance business, as defined under the Act, means the business of effecting, otherwise than incidentally to some other class of insurance business, contracts of insurance against loss by or incidental to fire. or other occurrence customarily included among the risks insured against in fire insurance policies now this definition can be studied in the form of about three or four ingredients first ingredient is that the fire insurance business is nothing but the business of effecting insurance contracts against loss the second ingredient is that such loss should be caused by or incidental to fire the definition also clarifies that fire insurance business also includes other occurrence that is fire insurance business also includes insurance against perils perils caused by other occurrence which is customarily included among risks insured against fire insurance policies it is normally the such losses need not be caused by fire but such losses are caused by factors that are customarily brought into the purview of the fire insurance contracts there is also a phrase that is to be noted in this definition the phrase is in the first line otherwise than incidentally to some other class of insurance business there could be certain other insurance insurances where the loss caused by fire is an incidental part of such insurance for example in engi- engineer contracts there is all risks insurance which covers almost all risks that could occur that could also include damage caused by fire however such insurance is merely an incidental part of some other class of insurance business therefore fire insurance business excludes such types of incidental coverages this is what the definition of fire insurance under section 2 subsection 6c of the insurance act 1938 provides basics of fire insurance what is fire insurance fire insurance can be the the business of fire insurance can be studied in the form of four ingredients basics of fire insurance what exactly is fire insurance in fire insurance the subject matter of that insurance is movable or immovable property example could be furniture or equipment plant or machinery a big factory or merchandise stock 
ऑक्स और एनी अदर थिंग बट सच सच प्रॉपर्टी शुड हैव पिक्यूनरी और फिनेंशियल वैल्यू दैट इज शुड हैव मॉनिटरी और मनी वैल्यू देन एज आई टोल्ड अर्लियर वाइल डिफाइनिंग फायर इंश्योरेंस बिजनेस फायर इंश्योरेंस कुड ऑल्सो इंक्लूड एनी अदर अकरेंस विच इज कस्टमरली इंक्लूडेड अमंग द रिस्क इंश्योर इन फायर इंश्योरेंस कॉन्ट्रैक्ट्स examples could be social perils such as riot strikes etc natural perils examples storm flood etc and miscellaneous types such as aircraft damage impact damage by road and so on fire insurance contract what are the ingredients of a fire insurance contract fire insurance contract is nothing but an agreement between the insurer and the insured there the insurer having received premium from the insured undertakes to make good the financial loss that is basically to indemnify or in simple language to compensate the insured for the financial loss cost such financial loss is subject to the sum assured of course and such loss should be suffered by the insured then such loss should be owing to damage or destruction of the insured property caused by fire or other specified perils and such loss should be during the period stated in the insurance policy so these are roughly the ingredients of a fire insurance contract now what are the laws that govern a fire insurance contract at the at the primary level is the insurance act 1938 then comes various irda that is in insurance regulatory development authority irda regulations then comes indian contract act 1872 indian contract act 1872 at least sections 1 to 75 deal with and apply to all kinds of contracts including insurance contracts there are uh, these these uh, these provisions apply uniformly to all kinds of contracts. and also these apply to insurance contracts this would entail that the essential ingredients of a, of a contract that is offer and acceptance consideration agreement between the parties legal competence of the parties to enter into a contract and legality of the agreement which are found in the indian contract act 1872 would equally apply to fire insurance contracts now this brings us to the end of part 1 of lecture 1 in the next part we will have a look at what the basic principles are there are about 7 6 or 7 basic principles of there are about 6 basic principles in a fire insurance uh, there are 6 basic principles of fire insurance we will have a look at it in the next part thank you very much